Hi guys, Ange here. Thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it if you could click on the subscribe button. I would love to see you back and I would just really truly appreciate it. In this video, I'm wanting to share the makeup products that I am getting tempted with. Now, I've just filmed a video of makeup products that I have just received in the well when I say just received over the last few weeks actually so it, it's not just happened in the last week or two I've accumulated them over a little time I'm also going to be doing a video on all the new skincare that I've got because I've been trying out new brands and new skincare so I want to do a video on that but there is just so much beauty stuff coming out onto the market that it's really really hard to to keep up with not that I want to keep up with but you know there's a lot of stuff that comes out that's really really desirable for someone who really likes their makeup so sometimes it's very hard to have a curated eye and picking just a few things especially when you do love makeup as much as I do um, and I really do need to be a little bit more ruthless in eliminating my wants and they are just wants it is just makeup but I get a lot of pleasure out of makeup and playing with it and all those sorts of things it, it gives me joy but I really do wish there wasn't so much coming out all the time that tempted me the way it does so with all of the stuff coming our way I wanted to share with you start, um, beauty items that I, I really want to have in my collection and hope to add to my collection and some things that I am going to give a bit of a wide berth to. I, I would say I wish my wide berth list was a lot longer as... I really don't need much more makeup but as I said there are a lot of things that are coming out that look very tempting and I just don't think I have the willpower for it. So without further ado if you would like to know what I am thinking about adding to my collection over the next wee while please keep watching. Okay now I've had this first product in my wish list forever and I must admit I haven't pulled the trigger yet I was supposed to do it two months ago for my birthday um, and that is the La Prairie concealer and foundation I love this foundation I've I've used several samples and I have never used a foundation that makes me feel as pretty as this foundation does but it is a horrendous horrendous cost for this foundation and there are other always other more important things that come along that need my attention first so sometimes when I'm spending 50 to 70 dollars on something I can find that sometimes but I can't find over 200 dollars for a foundation it, it just I haven't been able to bite the bullet for that but it is still in my wish list Another item that I'm quite curious to try is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. I would really like to get my hands on this and give it a go. I think it's such an unusual combination of colours that um, with my brown eyes I think I could use quite regularly. So I would like to try that palette out and it's available on Beautylish so always a good thing. I definitely want to repurchase my Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in Primrose. I ran out of it. I repurchased a different colour, but I really miss my Primrose colour because it went with everything. So um, that is on my shopping wish list. I really would like to try the NARS Climax Mascara. I have been trying my best to find a drugstore mascara that I like. I am not having much luck at all. I keep buying them and not liking them. So my daughter is doing extremely well out of mascaras at the moment. So I think I'll go back and I will try the NARS Climax mascara and see what I think to that one. Huda Beauty is bringing out another palette. Do I need another palette with these colours in it? Probably not, 
but oh my gosh this looks beautiful and this is the nude palette I just love these colors they're neutral they probably look a bit bland to some people but I am dying to get my hands on this palette so I can't wait till that drops I do already have my name on the wait list for this when it arrives at I think cult beauty so um, looking forward to that notification I'm very tempted to try some more KKW Beauty lipsticks. I have one in the cream lipstick in the nude in the nude set in number five. Absolutely love that lipstick. I love the way it wears, I love the opacity, I love the creaminess of the lipstick. So I would love to try some more lipsticks in her range. Um, not sure, I think I need to watch some videos on swatches and what all the different colours look like, but I would definitely like to add a couple more to my stash. I have my name on the waiting list, I missed out on this, but I truly want to get my hands on this and I am keeping my fingers crossed that they will do what they say and will re-release this and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. I'm not interested in the blush or anything like that, I just want the eyeshadow palette so I'm hoping they do bring this out and I'm hoping I can get my mitts on it. So that's the, I am, that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. Marc Jacobs have got a new palette coming out. It's got some very unusual packaging with it, um, but this looks quite interesting to me, this palette. I already love the um, eyeshadow palettes that he has in this style, and I have three of them. Really enjoy them, love using them, do utilize them a lot, and these colors look interesting, so I may look at getting this eyeshadow palette as well. Um, as far as skincare goes, I want to try the Jordan Samuels skincare line. I am trying different skincare ranges out. I'm trying to go for more products that have less of the nasty ingredients in them. Jordan Samuel skin line looks absolutely superb. I love watching him on YouTube. I I just think he's adorable. I, I would love to sit down and have a few drinks with him. He has just got the most wicked sense of humor and I always have a smile on my face when I watch his videos. I love where he comes from with his um, philosophy on skincare and the fact that he's an esthetician. I just think that's brilliant, so I definitely want to try his skincare out. I've been dabbling in the Mad Hippie skincare, absolutely loving what I'm using at the moment, and definitely want to add from the range of that as well. It's affordable, it's green, it's wonderful, and I am enjoying those products, so I want to get some more. There is two products from the same makeup brand that I am very curious to see. I would love to see the swatches when they came come out, and this is from Jeffree Star. I've never purchased eyeshadows from Jeffree Star products before. I have used his liquid lip. And he's got two palettes coming out. And one is called Extended Peach. And one is called Extended Burgundy. And I'm very curious to see what these look like. And once I've seen swatches, I will make up my mind as to whether I want them or not. Now just so I can balance that up a wee bit and just sort of put everyone at ease that I don't just buy every makeup item that comes my way. There are some things that I really am going to give a wide berth on and they are the Colourpop foundation sticks. I am not going there. I tried the Colourpop foundation, didn't work for me at all. Um, I've had the odd Colourpop eyeshadow palettes. I think they are brilliant for their price. But I must admit, I am a little bit more of a, um, I love my higher end makeup, I just really do, and I enjoy the, the eyeshadow palettes that I have, like Anastasia and all those sorts of things, so um, I will be giving the foundation sticks a bit of a wide berth. 
the Pat McGrath Holiday Palette that's come out. It is so gorgeous and it does look beautiful, but at $125 for that palette, and that's US dollars, so it's going to be over $200 in New Zealand dollars, I am going to give this a miss. She's also coming out with three mini palettes. Now, I did buy Bronze Ambition and Platinum Bronze. I moved Bronze Ambition on because I did have some palettes that were similar. I love the Platinum Bronze, but um, due to price, I won't be purchasing any of the Pat McGrath palettes that are coming out. Another palette that I... Um, won't be adding to my collection is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Um, just doesn't interest me. I think it's just the colours. I think that's so weird, I suppose, coming from me when I, I really like the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. To some people, they'd look at that and go, wah, wah, wah. But um, I tend to get that a little bit from the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I think um, they're just not colours that I would feel comfortable wearing. Jouer are bringing out some new eyeshadow palettes. Looking at these, I think I would prefer to try some of the more affordable Milani eyeshadow palettes that seem to get so, so many good reviews that um, I think I would rather try the Milani palettes that look very similar to these instead. So I'll be looking out for the Milani ones instead. And I'm going to pass on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette number 4. I've just purchased the Unlocked Palette. Absolutely love it. And I already have the um, Ambient Lighting number 3, which I think is very similar to the number 4, so I'm going to give that a pass. I'm also going to give a pass on the Urban Decay Cherry Palette. I just don't think they are colours that... I would feel comfortable with and I have so many other palettes that it's nice to be able to say I'm not getting that and I'm not getting that because I feel greedy with what I do get. So it's nice to be able to sit there and go mm, not getting that. So that made, it's just a wee, it's just a wee um, victory in my own wee head but never mind so they are items that I have on my wish list items that I will be passing on I'd love to hear your feedback on things that you would really like to get in the next wee while or are there some items that you are really going really no <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. We'd truly appreciate it. You take care. See you later, guys. Bye.